how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. And welcome to the second episode of Resident Evil Zero. In the last episode, well, <coughs> just like the title suggests, the nightmare began. You know, Rebecca, I mean, sorry, the helicopter crashed and uh, everybody got lost in the forest. Rebecca got lost on a train, got stuck on a train with a convicted felon with zombies. And uh, things aren't looking up. So, Resident let's see what's going to happen next. Zero. So grab your drinks. Grab your snacks, and let's play some Resident Evil Zero. Alrighty, so, uh, we have to give this, actually, yeah, we have to give this to Rebecca so she can finally escape that room, uh, that she got locked in. So we have to go back to the elevator. Which means going all the way to the back. I do apologize if I do go silent sometimes, because sometimes there's not much uh, to say, you know. I'd like to know how long uh, Rebecca and Billy were actually on the train. I mean, like, actual story-wise. I think that'd be something interesting. Because that's something that's not really uh, touched on, I guess. says that they're on the train and they end up at the facility. And we can put this in here, send that up to Rebecca, and now she can get out. And then when she gets down, we can mix or add our uh, ink ribbons to her ink ribbons, which will be nice. Because then we don't need to have so many spaces taken up. And uh, see here, let's check her thing. Alright. Might as well make her use that. Because like I said in the last episode, Rebecca can... Uh, die really easily. She takes damage uh, a lot more than Rebecca or uh, than Billy does. Or should I say, she takes more damage than Billy does? I should say. Oh yeah, that's right. We were we dropped that. Okay, so our goal now uh, is to get <coughs> two rings to open up that suitcase that Billy, uh, that I picked up as Billy in the last episode, before we fought the scorpion. But we do have to go <coughs> back upstairs and, um, what do you call it, get that uh, hook thing. Okay, so now we can mix these like that. I'm going to give them to her, though. And now that we got both characters, <coughs> uh, more zombies are going to awaken. Whoops. So the second character, like say if I'm playing as uh, Rebecca, uh, the computer playing as Billy will aim and shoot at zombies. Uh, the only problem though is that they don't shoot the zombies from far away. And I can also move the characters as well, which is nice. Okay, is he dead? And if there is an enemy, uh, the computer character will aim at them, even 
uh, if they're laying down, like if they've fallen down, the uh, computer character will aim at them. So you'll <coughs> sometimes you'll know uh, if the enemy's dead or not, which is a nice indicator sometimes. Okay. Now we have to go in here. I'm not going to grab the suitcase yet. I'll wait until I have both of the rings for that. Okay, and these here, we can uh, take these and mix them up. And then uh, we can drop them. So let's uh, mix these two together. And we can drop that. Nice. Oh, and like I was saying in the previous episode about getting my favorite weapon, this is my favorite weapon of all of Resident Evil Zero. I mean, the Magnum's nice and everything, but I don't know. The very first time I used the uh, hunt, I call it the hunting rifle, it's just called the hunting gun, but uh, I absolutely fell in love with it. It uh, fires two bullets at the same time, uh, but it only uses up one bullet, though. <coughs> so it says two, it can only hold two bullets. Uh, it shoots two bullets at a time, though. And it does a lot of damage. Okay, so we need to pick up this. Okay, let's uh, give him a bit of ammo. <coughs> okay. So hopefully we should be able to finish the train. Okay, we're not going to pick up the knife. Not yet, anyway. Hopefully uh, we were able to finish up the train uh, before the end of this episode. We should be able to, because we're almost done the train anyway. I was hoping to have the train done uh, in the first episode, but... Oh, well, things happen. That's okay. Because I don't want to make the episodes really long. You know what I mean? Because people like to watch playthroughs and stuff, but uh, don't like to watch super long ones. I mean, I know some people do enjoy long videos. I personally, I enjoy long videos. Uh, one of my favorite uh, creators, I guess you could say, is uh, Oxhorn, and he does follow-up videos, and a lot of his videos are anywhere between half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, I really enjoy that. He's very thorough, and uh, he has a big, uh, what do you call it, subscription base. A lot of people like him. I, I really like him as well. But I understand for these types of games, like the Resident Evil games, Devil May Cry games, um, and just other games that I'm planning on doing in the future, I know <coughs> that a lot of people uh, don't really enjoy uh, long playthroughs of them. So, I'm going to try and keep my vid uh, the I keep my video, it's at least these ones anyway, um, at least to about half an hour or so. I usually go about 45 minutes, about 50 minutes and stuff, but I want to try and drop it down to about half an hour, if I can. The odd video will be, you know, 45 minutes and stuff, but I want to try and drop, drop it down to at least half an hour to 35 minutes. I think that's a pretty good uh, time of watching. So, now we have to go, oh shit, get out of here, and he's dead, and I don't want to use <coughs> the hunting gun just yet, I want to save the ammo for that, for the mansion. You do get a shotgun later on in the mansion, I uh, tend to not, like, I'll, it's funny because I pick it up, but 9 times out of 10 I don't even tend on using it because... Uh, there's no item box. Where am I going? There's no item boxes in this game. So there's a lot of item management. And this game got a lot of hate for that. I really liked it because it made you think. It wasn't just, oh, I just dump all my stuff in the box and hoard everything. It was, no, it's like, okay, well, I don't have room for this. So I gotta go back and get this later. You know, and stuff like that. So I really liked it. It was different. Every Resident Evil game. Uh, up to, uh, four had an item box. Four doesn't have an item box. Nice. These things are also very important. The, uh... Okay, that too. I don't need that, though. 
And we grab this. So I'm gonna drop this. And Rebecca can take this. Yeah, these gas tanks are pretty important for later on. You make uh, Molotov cocktails, if that's how you say it properly, not too sure. Okay, yeah, so now here's one of the rings. Get out of the way, Billy. Alright, so there's one of the rings for the, uh, what do you call it, um, for the suitcase. We need the other one, though. Then we can finally get off the train. I usually have uh, Rebecca carry the, um, oh shit, um, do, 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 how am I going to do this? Um, okay, we'll drop this. Can I drop it here? I can drop it. Huh. I'll put you over there. Okay. So I usually have Rebecca carry the hook shot. Okay. Now we don't. We need this right now <coughs> to get on top of the train once, and then we don't need it again um, till about halfway through the game. <coughs> so I usually just drop it off in the mansion and leave it off in the corner or something. You guys will see my setup. I mean, we're all playing through it together, so. And like I said, any item you drop on the train will be placed outside of the uh, outside of the train when we're done, which is nice. So you're not going to lose anything. So that's why certain things I picked them up and uh, oh, what's that here? That's why certain items I just picked them up and then put them down. But the thing, it's kind of like tagging them. You have to tag them. Okay, so here's this. We pick this up. Oh, whoops. You can't pick it up right now. Okay. Pick that up, and then you can just drop it, which kind of tags it, which means that uh, <coughs> it'll show up on the map. So I'll bring up the map here and show you what I mean. So you see the glowing things near the S. So as you see, green herb, all the stuff here. So this means I can literally only drop one thing right now, one more item. <coughs> when you pick up an item, it tags it. So, um, th we need this, but we don't need it right now. So Bailey has one room, she doesn't have any room. <coughs> so we'll exchange this like that, and now she has one extra spot, and that's what we need. Now anybody of the, uh, either one of the two, like Billy and Rebecca, they can both use the hookshot. Uh, they both can't ride it together, only one of them can use it. <coughs> I don't know why, but I've only be always uh, used Rebecca for the hookshot. I don't know why. Alright, let's go in here. Alright, so now we need to use this. Not too far, and now we drop down here. <coughs> <coughs> Basically, you said it was the passenger's uh, cabin. You want to drop down. Now you can't leave this room. You have to kill the zombie. Uh, if we tried to leave first, oh god, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I guess I have to reload or something. Get off me. Uh, okay, she's reloaded. Okay, so as you can see here, if I try to leave, it'll say it won't open. There's something in the way, so you have to kill this guy. So now that he's dead, now we need to pick this up here at the jewelry box because inside of the jewelry box is the last, uh, what do you call it, <coughs> a ring for the suitcase.
Okay, now we can leave. Nice. There is going to be a health on the table out here. We don't need it. Uh, the nice thing about this hallway is uh, it does connect to uh, where we picked up the hunting gun. But we don't need to go back that way anyway. This way. Okay. Alrighty, so now, let's see here. We can go like this, uh, examine it, open it up. Something inside, silver ring. The one thing I really liked about this game was the detail on the items. Now, you gotta remember, this was originally a GameCube game. So, the graphics on the remastered aren't really updated. It's more so the, the gra um, they're just sharpened, you know what I mean? So you really look at it, and you can really see the details. They're just really nice. So that one's a lion. What's the other one? I never really, really took the time to look at them before. Oh, it's like an eagle. Oh, that's cool. Huh. And even like like I said, like handgun bullets and uh I don't know. I just like looking at the details and uh, all that stuff. Looks nice. Also, because I do have um a PS4 one, uh <coughs> I do have I have the way to <coughs> change the ca uh character's outfits. So we have the stars prototype. This game actually I talk talking about that all uh, Resident Evil Zero was originally supposed to be for the Nintendo 64. Uh, at the time of developing this game, they were they also had a separate team working and developing the uh, Nintendo GameCube. So they got about I think it was 80% done the game. They got pretty far done uh, the, the 64 Nintendo 64 version, and they decided to scrap it because they figured while well, we're bringing out you know a new uh, console and uh, you know it's one of the top of the line consoles you know and uh, why not make it for that so they decided to scrap the 64 project and uh, make it for the GameCube <coughs> I would honestly love to see uh, the original version but yeah so we have that outfit this is the outfit for this game uh, the 1996 original Resident Evil PS1 outfit, and the 1997 PS1 Resident Evil Director's Cut uh, version. But we're just going to stick to using the original outfit, because, well, if no one's played this game before, might as well have the true 100% uh, experience. So... And, oh, I, I went the right way. I thought I went the wrong way, but I didn't. Which is nice. Okay. So. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can drop this right now. And I'll have uh, Billy go in here. Yeah, that's okay. We can drop those because we get more in the, uh, the facility anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, nice. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal Rebecca right now. So I'll get her to pick this up. And she can use that. get the briefcase which is nice or a suitcase whatever it's a briefcase I keep calling it a suitcase whatever doesn't matter so let's exchange this for that and exchange this for that and now we can unlock the briefcase so even the detail in the briefcase is very nice do you want to open it yes I do
Now this is the security system. Nice little touch. You can see that guy in the corner was one of the first zombies that we fought um, when we just started the game there. Pretty interesting thing actually. Small little details, the things that I like. We can take those back and we can take Oh, I didn't want didn't want her handgun. I'm very picky with uh, my inventory. Actually, that's what we want. We can take this, put that there, and uh, so there we go. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen now. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. Oh, there's Wesker. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Alrighty, so that was uh, pretty interesting and guess, guess what? We get to go in there. So, uh, for those of you who've never played Resident Evil or don't know much about it, uh, the man in the Star's uh, police uniform, uh, that's Albert Wesker. Uh, we'll learn more about him in uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake when I do that one. And they went, the guy beside him was uh, <coughs> Dr. William Birkin. Uh, he's a really big, uh, important guy to Umbrella. He did a lot of research, he created the uh, the G-Virus, and he did a lot of work on the T-Virus. Um, he's a big player in Resident Evil 2, but let's move forward. We'll read some more notes on about uh, Wesker and uh, Birkin's rivalry and uh, some stuff like that. There's some notes a little bit about them in, uh, in the facility. Not much, but there's a little bit. Okay, so we don't really need to know that. So we're gonna leave Billy behind, and we're gonna send Rebecca to I'll do the. I'll go the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca. Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. <laughs> I love that. Don't screw up. <laughs> anyway, so this part is actually timed, and uh, what we're gonna do. So the reason why I chose Rebecca is there is a special uh, cutscene with Rebecca. If you use Billy, um, it's I guess it's not as impactful, but uh, you'll see why. So these guys are going to get up. We're just going to ignore them. Okay, I guess I need to look at something really quick here. Just looking up the train code really quickly. Uh, just so I can uh, do this. Okay, let's see here. Okay. 
Okay, for some reason it's not telling me, so we'll have to just guess. Okay. So the guy who is slumped in the corner, he's up, we can ignore him. He's that way. Stick to the side, he won't grab us. So there's a bunch of zombies here. Uh, it's better to take them out. I don't know why she was not oh shit. You really don't want to take damage here with how many zombies there are. I really should have, oh god, I should have brought the shotgun with me. Oh wait, can she push them down? Perfect, okay, so we can just run past all these guys now. Um, oh shit, yeah, um, we should be okay. And that's what I'm talking about, she takes a lot of damage really easily. So if I get attacked one more time, I'll be in danger status, and that's not good. This is the cutscene I was talking about. the one who uh, jumped through the window. And we won't make him suffer, we'll just kill him. As you see, he's a bit harder to kill. Anyway. So that guy's gonna get up, we're just gonna ignore him. Do I want to pick up that bottle? Um, no. Kind of wish I had a first aid spray or something on me, though. Oh, huh, look at that. I honestly forgot about that one. Perfect. Now I don't have anything to worry about. Okay, so now we want to use this black key card and then put a code. This is the code I was trying to look for online really quick. This one's easy. 27th, we want to go uh, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we get, uh, oh, yeah, I messed that up. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to go over and do that. This is Rebecca. I have engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. This one can be tricky because the screen's cracked and you can't really see. Hey, there's handgun bolts over there. I want to grab those really quick. Yeah, okay. 67, I'm guessing, um, no it's not, okay, give me one quick second, okay, Just loading up a website here. All right, so here we go, and perfect. Okay, I do apologize about that. All right, so let's get into this now. So it said it was I thought it was that. No. Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry. There we go.
Rebecca. I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Okay, so... Honestly, there's no way they would have survived that. With the train flipping over and all that, there's no way. I'm sorry, but I don't think they would have survived. <coughs> That's just my opinion. So as you can see, um, everything that we picked up and dropped is literally right here. We got this, we got our bottle, okay. Um, let's see here. So what I'm going to do for now is uh, give her all that, or give him all the handgun bolts for now, because we want to pick up some things. So we want this. And the bottle, and we're going to mix these two together. Because we're going to need those for the leech monsters that we're going to fight later on. And is that everything? I can't remember. That's everything. Alright, so let's uh, move forward. We can leave the knife there for now. If we desperately need it, we can come back and get it at a later time. Doesn't matter. We don't need it right now. So, let's see what's up here. The Umbrella Research Center? General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention, mm -hmm. this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> All right, things are starting to get interesting. <clears throat> we have a whole mansion to explore now. this item. What? Oh, it's because I did the wrong one. Okay, I see. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. 
And I know you're thinking, man, I think they're just starting to, you know, pick up. I think they're getting interesting. I know, and I apologize, but we don't want to go through the whole thing too fast. We want to savior this game. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Resident Evil Zero as much as I enjoyed playing it. Uh, there wasn't much in the way of notes or anything to really uh, talk about or do in this episode. Um, there might be in the next episode. <clears throat> so, but if you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. I hope you have a great day.